Hello YouTube, BrandMoff64 here, and I am back with another video, and this is episode 2 of the Create Mystic series. I haven't really done much since the end of the last episode. I kind of just went around and polished up a little, a little bit of the build here, so I added this like, cobblestone ring and started to add some of the leaves around here, and I'm making a path, so hopefully I can have a path that leads up to the lake here. And I don't know if how I'm going to want to do this. I don't know if I want to make a dock or a bridge. or I'll figure that out though as we go. I'm going to try to be slightly consistent about my videos. Trying to get them up once a week. But there's no guarantee I'll get there. So for today's episode, I think what I want to do is I want to go around. Finish at least the pathway there. And finish doing a few things around here. Right? And then, I want to start trying to get into the more mod stuff. I said that last time too, and we saw how that went. So, it's going to be somewhat interesting if we do. Uh, yeah, I did a little bit of resource gathering too, off camera. I have some, like, iron, I got some more coal. I didn't really get much. I think I got a few extra diamonds, yeah because I managed to make a dumb pick, so I got a few extra things there too, but not anything too much. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with doing a bit in the create mod, because why not? If I have, I don't think I have materials for it. I don't. Well, okay then. Uh, I'm going to start off with a bit of resource gathering then, so I can start working on the crate mod. And I'll see you guys after that. Okay, so I mean, I didn't take too long. I thought I was fairly quick with my resource gathering. Um, I got myself a spell, a, yeah, stack and eight of Andesite Alloy, which is like the big thing that you need for the Create Mod. And I think the easiest way to go about it, this is going to probably be following how the Create Mod is laid out here. Uh, now, for the time being, I'm gonna probably just, like, put the stuff over here in, like, a, not, like, a very, like, nice-looking way. Uh, what I want to end up doing is have this be kind of the magic area with all of the, the magic stuff that I've gotten and all that. And then, on the other side over there, which you can't exactly see the best, let me see if I can get over there easier. So you can actually see it. Over here, I kind of want to, like, be have this side be more of the create mod stuff. Because there's also two of the 
resource nodes. I don't know what to call them. Um, and I don't like I, I I don't know how they work either. That's something I'm not also too sure on. Cause I know there's like there's lava in them. And I don't know if I can like just grab this stuff from here with certain tools or not. I'll have to. It's a whole new thing that I'll have to learn and figure out how to use. Cause right here, there's two of them. I can get up here. Right. And then over there, there's another one. So. But yeah, for the time being, I'm gonna just keep everything going in one place, just for ease of use. Let's see, so first thing that you do in the create mod is you make uh, a way to get power. So I'm going to end up making a water wheel. And let's see, to make a water wheel I'm pretty sure I need, I'm going to need wood, I know that much. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, I think to make a water wheel, you need slabs around a shaft. Nope. Maybe is it just the four? No, okay. Water wheel. Oh, it's planks. Okay. Why did I think it was slabs? <laughs> Start off with two. I want to make a large one. It's just not oh, same thing. Yeah, large water wheel. Maybe, I think I'll wait on the war large ones though, just because they take up a lot more space. Okay. So yeah, if you don't know anything on the crane mod, this is kind of how it works. You need to create power s a power source. There's multiple different ways to do this. Typically you start off with a water wheel of some sort, or you start off with, uh, what's it called? A windmill or a wind turbine. Not windmill, windmill. So I'll just throw it right here. So the way the water wheels work is they actually they updated them recently. Whoops. It used to be that the more sides that the water wheel was powered from, the more power it puts it would output. Now it's just consistent across the entire thing. enough just put a bucket of water here and now you'll see it's spinning and this will give us yeah this will give us rotation rotational power that we can use so we can use shafts and stuff to transfer around the power so guys I want to put that there Another bucket of water. Okay, the next up is gonna be. I think it's probably gonna have to be the mechanical press. Because there's, there's two tools that are mainly they're very useful in crate mod. The goggles which to make the goggles you need golden sheet and to make a golden sheet you have to press a gold ingot and then the wrench which you need three gold sheets for 
So to make either of those, I need to make a mechanical press and a depot. So let's see. To make a... That's... I guess I'd help if I spelt it right. Okay, you know what? I'm, I can't spell. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see, mechanical press. That is right here. So I need a block of iron and set casing and a shaft. Oh, yeah. I don't... Ignore the Discord stuff stuff in the top left. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in video or not, and if it does... Yeah, just ignore it. Here's my... Here's one of my most favorite things about create, the create mod. I, I don't know why, but I really enjoy making a... Uh, and the site casing. Just by if you strip a log then you right click on it, it'll make it in site casing. And then and site casing is like a base for almost everything. Guess I have one, two, three, four. And now, do I have enough iron for this? I don't. Well, that's a problem. And I don't have enough there either. Make, actually, yeah, I'll just make an iron pick. I'll have to grab a bit more iron, but let's see if I can do this quickly. I know where some at some iron is at down here. The question is, can I get to it without dying repeatedly? I'm blind. Um, okay. So now that we have this, I can create the mechanical press. Actually, I should probably check. Does the depot need iron? No. Good. sleep so that way I don't have to worry about any mobs trying to kill me. Okay. I think my props should just go this way so I don't have to... Yeah, okay. So let's see here. I'll get the smelting. And then I'm gonna want this. This is going to go right here, and let me get my gold ingots. So a depot is what most things are kind of like held on to like keep them in one place. So if you want to like press stuff or use like the mechanical arms, eventually we'll get to that. To do that, you want to put everything on a depot. Yes, you can put stuff on conveyor belts and do it in a, in a, a line like that too, but... It, it all just depends on how you set up your stuff. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, the, so make the mechanical press. And then after that, I can... 
I don't remember what the next thing is after that. I guess the encased fans there, so I need to get more iron for that. I don't know. I'll s yeah, I'll wait to see when I get there. Um. All right. Mechanical press time. Need this. And now I have everything. Yes, I do. And boop. Now it's very slow because it's going straight from the water wheels. And eventually I can make a speedometer. I think it's called a speedometer. Um I don't know where it's at. Yeah, but basically it's over here. Yeah, speedometer and then a stressometer. And one tells you the speed and then one tells you the stress. Because if you put too much work on your power source, it'll stop it. Okay, and there's our four sheets. Let me, now I can get rid of those. Okay. Now, let's see, what do I need for this? I need glass and string. Do I have glass in here? I don't think I do. No, okay. Actually, before I leave, what do I need for the wrench? Okay, cog wheel. Okay. So I'm gonna just go quickly steal some sand from the lake over here. Now, to make a cog wheel, I need shaft and a plank. And now, I can make the wrench. So the wrench is nice because it allows you to, uh, it allows you to rotate items, or rotate, like, create blocks. And you can also instantly break them. So if I right click over here on the top of this thing, He'll spin and rotate around, and if I shift and then right click, it'll pick it up and put it straight into my inventory. Which is very nice because otherwise you have to sit here and break it and find the right tool for it. This just allows you to instantly pick it up and you don't have the potential of like dropping it into lava or losing it down far somewhere. Okay, my glass is done. Okay, and so the goggles allow me to see this information so I can see that one of these uh, one of these small water wheels generates 256 SU which stands for stress units and I have two of them so it's like 500 and some and then I can see that this is consuming 64 SU and if I put too much onto this if I put if I go over the 500 and some stress units that these two water wheels are making the machine will overstress and stop working oh gosh apparently yeah uh, apparently that's a way later down the line that's funny So, I think I'm going to go with the case fan next, and we'll see why here in a bit. So, if I quickly come over here to the encased fan, where is it at? Right here. If I look at its purposes, or what it can do, it has a lot of things it can do. Uh, it can bark bulk blast bulk heart haunt or haunting smoking and washing 
and the way it works is I'll get to that in a sec because I don't know what that, that is for uh, like it, it'll in this case it smelts your stuff right very quickly it smelts stuff haunting is kind of the weird one that's very interesting that's more of a magic thing of the create mod like it's it's part of the basic create mod but it's kind of magical so like you can turn red mushrooms into crimson fungus uh, clay into netherrack like it's kind of like converting stuff into its nether stuff or infesting things yeah Um, I think that's a bug. I think it's supposed to do something, but I don't have a mod installed, maybe, for that item. Yeah, it kind of, it does a lot of kind of random things that don't make the most sense. But it definitely is useful in its scenarios, because... If I wanted to create certain blocks, I don't have to, or certain things, I don't have to, like, go through and actually get my netherrack. I can just go and get clay, and to make clay is a whole other process. I can make clay by pressing clay balls, and then I can get clay balls from gravel. And, like, there's a whole... No, oh, that's funny. There's a whole thing about doing that. And then smoking is smoking it like it cooks your food for you. Washing typically is concrete or it gets like it pulls things out of certain items. It's like here I can raw wash, crush raw gold and get potentially get quartz out of it and I can potentially get clay out of copper and there's a bunch of things here okay that's what that's for um yeah this is part of I think this is yeah this is a create stuff add-ons this is if I get a jetpack which I don't know when I'll get to that It'll probably be a good while because it looks like they're expensive because that's expensive so I just realized I didn't mark the fan. So to make the fan, I need a propeller. And I need four iron sheets. Let's see, I don't think... Yeah, I didn't have any iron left, did I? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go down and get some more iron. Hopefully enough to last me a little while. I'll see you guys when I'm done. So, I'm still like, learning uh, my recording system, and apparently if you try to record a video and save it, if it has the same name, I'm assuming this is the issue, it will, for some reason, not end up saving the recording, which is really weird. So, I guess I might as well explain what I've done. Uh, because I've lost the footage for it. So I went resource gathering and I upgraded my backpack to a diamond backpack. I got myself the engineer's goggles and the wrench from Create. Uh, I've set up this little system here where I can use my mechanical press to press things like iron ingots and gold ingots to make iron and gold sheets and there's a whole bunch of other things they can do there uh, here I have a fan that's sucking the lava in from over here and it will smell items so if I take these two iron here I drop it there and give it a bit and you'll see eventually that they'll turn into ingots like that and then here you got uh, the water wheels, which generate the power for for all this stuff. Um, let's see what else. I finished up the pathway here. Yep, and it goes all the way up to here. And then I don't know if I'm gonna 
go to the sides or go to make a bridge across. I'm probably going to end up going to the sides. Uh, and as you might notice, I moved my waystone so it's no longer here. And I moved it so it is over here at this building. Which, this is going to be a train station eventually. So, you can either use the waystone to teleport here, or you could take a train here. Uh, that's a screen from the uh, computer craft mod. And I'm hoping I can like see if there's a way where I can display the area that the train's going to go to next. Or like see when the train's going to get here. And display it on there. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't exactly accomplish much because of the amount of resources I had to gather to do all this stuff. I think, like, over here I probably spent, like, like, three hours just getting the resources for all of this stuff. And, yeah. And then, like, this took a bunch of iron, and the goggles and the wrench take gold so a lot of that was resource gathering uh, I also end up making the mechanical saw so now I can like really easily chop down trees so I can come here put this down spin my hand crank and there goes the tree So yeah, I didn't I didn't exactly accomplish much. Hopefully I figure out what happened and can stop that from happening in the future. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the fact that my clips had one of my clips had the same name as another clip cuz I forgot to change it and it did not want me to or did not like save the recording when it should have. So uh in that recording, I had a time lapse of this, of building this area and chopping down the trees to get here. It kind of sucks I lost the recording because I had I had a good thing, a few good things in there, but uh, not much I can do about it now. Um, in the lot near the end or somewhere in the last video too, I asked for a name for my dog here and I think I kind of like glossed over I went I kind of said it really quickly if I kept in the video so I think it'd be nice to have a a name for my dog here so yeah put your suggestions down in the comments below uh, also feel free to join I'll have a link to my discord down below and I'll also have a link to a the mods zip folder that you can download. And I'll have all the server information down below so that way you guys can join because so far, to my knowledge, I've only had one other person join and I think I... No, he joined through the videos. So... As long as you know how to put mods into your Java Minecraft, you should be able to join. That's all from me today. Hopefully I can work better and get used to what I have to do so that way I don't have this issue again because I've had it twice now. So This was Randomoff64, and I hope you have a good day. Bye. Oh.